Whoa, look at all the pretty colors and ducks can fly really fast in mine cards. Quack. What's up guys, Duckfin Gaming here, aka Duck Opinion, and I want to give you guys a few tips on how to handle monsters on Minecraft. And you know, I'm trying to help out the new players that have never played on PC. I just want to give you my tips and opinions on how I take care of each monster on Minecraft. So, when you're playing, you get the option to put it on easy, normal, or hard. These are the three modes monsters will be on. If you put it on peaceful, they won't be there at all. Now, on easy mode, and hard mode, and normal mode, they... The monsters take the same hits to take down, and they don't spawn anymore. The only difference between easy, normal, and hard is when they hit you, it takes away more of your life on hard than it would on easy. That is the only difference between the difficulties. They don't spawn more. They aren't harder to kill. They just hit you harder. So that's the only difference. So getting that out the way, I want to talk about zombies and spiders. They're by far the easiest monsters to take down because they pretty much just, they just kind of, they come to you and attack you. Like when it comes to spiders, not spiders, but when it comes to skeletons and creepers, like creepers will come up to you and blow up. And that's like bad. You gotta, you know, you gotta keep those little bastards away and, and let them blow up and destroy your shit, of course. But I'll just grab this sword. We'll be good. But um, the thing about like skeletons and creepers is skeletons can really mess you up from a far distance with their bow and arrow and creepers can just blow you into smithereens. The thing about zombies and spiders is they always just kind of punch you and bite you so you can just turn around and slay them and not really get too messed up. And there are also pigmen and there's also gases in the nether and uh, we'll go up there and check those out in a minute. I'll give you some tips on those guys as well. But let me find some normal monsters here to kind of give you some tips on first. So, let's see what we can find. Here, monster, monster, monsters. Where are you? Like, the first monster that showed up came and blew up my darn chest. <laughs> But um, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out because um, I know a lot of you guys might be really getting messed up by monsters on easy and you're trying to get their their items and they could be messing you up a lot. So I want to give you tips. As for um, tips on what to use, I'm using a diamond sword. You're going to want to use diamond or iron. If you use stone or wood, it's going to take a lot more hits to kill these guys and it's going to be a lot more frustrating for you guys. And um, if you guys use iron or or diamond, diamond being the best, you can take them down in a few good punches. Now I'd recommend you using diamond when you're fighting these guys. I have a tutorial on how to get diamonds pretty quick and easy and you only need two to make a pretty awesome sword. So keep that in mind and maybe watch that video and get a couple diamonds on peaceful before you go out trying to fight them on easy. And also don't forget to maybe make some iron armor. So if you make some iron armor or some diamond armor, the creeper explodes and the hits will not hurt you as much as they would. So the thing about creepers is, they will follow you and if they get too close they will explode. But they will always turn to the left. And if you have a diamond sword, you can hit him twice really quick before he explodes and he'll die like this. And you can take care of him really easy. But that right there that I just did, it took me a long time to learn that. And sometimes you'll miss it and he'll kill you. But like I said, with spiders and zombies, they're pretty basic. Just back up a little bit, swing, and hit them, and they're done. Zombies and spiders are pretty basic. They aren't the ones you have to worry about. It's the skeletons and the creepers that you want to worry about. Like, here's a zombie. I'll give you a good example about the zombies. They aren't too threatening. If you get, like, ten of them, they surely can mess you up. But as you see, just back up and hit, and it's pretty basic. You can just tear them apart. Here's another one. Just go up to them, back up a little bit, go up to them, back up a little bit, and just smack them, and they're done. You can hit them for days. But let's find some skeletons, and let's find some creepers, and uh, I'll give you some tips on them, and then we'll go into the nether, and I'll show you some tips on pigmen and the other bastard ghastlies, which are like the ghost-type creatures. I will mention one thing, though. This uh, version of Minecraft it, is, it was in a version where the fighting wasn't upgraded, so the fighting's a little rough. Sometimes the monsters will hit you when you're really far away from them, but when the update comes out, they'll all be fixed. Like, um, they fixed the fighting and made it better in later updates. So I think when the 1.8 comes out, we'll be able to have the new fighting system, and it will be a lot better when it comes to fighting these guys. 
So, eesh, could I find a skeleton or a creeper? There's a skeleton. So, the thing about the skeletons are they always view to the left. So, when they go to the left, if you just follow them to the left and try to go at them, they shouldn't hit you. They'll miss like every shot as long as you go to the left. See what I'm doing? Going to the left, just keep going to the left. And then you can pretty much take them out. Well, I guess I got two right here, so it's a little rough. But, but you see what I mean about how skeletons can be pretty deadly. So to get your health back up, the only way to do it is to either kill pigs and eat their raw flesh, and you'll get a lot more health if you actually cook it. You can use a flint and steel and burn the pig and then kill them, and you'll get cooked food. But uh, the only food you can use is from pigs and from... Mu from mushrooms you can make mushroom stew and you can also go to the never and get cooked pork chops from the the pig monsters which we will go over here in a little bit so i, I showed you how to take care of these pathetic zombies and the spiders and i kind of gave you a little bit of strategy for the creepers and for the skeletons the skeletons could be pretty rough run on one but if you get like three at a time, they can definitely destroy you in just a few hits. They can be really, really, really annoying. And I know it's really difficult. That's why I'm trying to give you guys tips on how to survive. Make sure to try to get some armor. I mean, as you see, I'm not using any armor here. I'm just using a diamond sword. But if you're really having trouble, try to get some iron on Peaceful. Try to get a diamond sword or maybe some diamond armor. And just build that up and then save. And then, um, you know, use it. Get on easy and do work, you know. Do what's best for you on fighting these zombies. I'm just going to give you the strategies that I use for fighting all these crazy monsters. So I think we went over everything, though. We went over spiders, zombies. We fought a couple creepers, and I showed you how you kind of have to double tap them if you only have a diamond. Now, you can't take them off two hits. You can't take creepers off two hits with an iron sword. It takes like three or four. So you're going to want to hit the creepers and back up. So there's some creepers up here, and I'm going to give you some examples of hitting them and backing up before we go in the nether and take on some pigments. Oh, God, there's stuff up here for days. Oh, man. Okay, so for the creepers, you want to do the same strategy. You want to hit them and back up. You want to hit them and back up. For this one, I'll double tap them. See, I do the double tap. But, I mean, that's like the big strategy. You can either, like, if you're not using a diamond sword, you're going to want to just hit them and back up. You want to hit them and back up. Let them fizzle out. Hit them again and back up and just let them fizzle. Now, this one in front of me is a... It's a skeleton on a spider. These guys are a little bit more difficult. You have to deal with spiders and skeleton. But it's the same concept. You want to veer to the left so the skeleton doesn't take you out. And what makes it a little bit easier is the fact that the spiders will come towards you. So, I mean, you can take the skeleton out a lot quicker when the spiders come towards you. So, like I said, with, with, the, with the creepers, you really just want to give them space and back up. And you can also, if you want to trigger their explosion, just get a little close to them. Let them explode and they can take out other creepers. You see how that worked? So I hope those strategies for the normal monsters in the normal world helped you guys out. I really wanted to show you how to take care of the, the skeletons and the creepers. Those are the two the most I wanted to show you. Like I said, the spiders and the zombies are pretty easy if you just kind of back up and hit them. So we'll go into my epic nether tower, and I'm going to show you pigmen, and I'm going to show you ghastlies. I'll probably get killed, but I just want to kind of give you an example of them. So pigmen, they won't attack you unless you attack them. So if you have a group of them and you attack one, you'll get the whole group after you, and it can be overwhelming, and they can kill you almost instantly. So you got to be a little bit careful with pigmen, but to be honest, they are not that hard. They're kind of pretty simple, and they also drop food, so if they hurt you a lot, you can pretty much just heal up with the food they drop. Because every time you kill them, they drop, a, they drop steak. So as you see, there's a lot of pigmen here, and they're friendly. These are the pigmen, they're pretty friendly, but the thing is, when you hit them, they all go after you. See how they all go after you? And they're fast, too. They're fast little boogers, but you see, they drop cooked pork chops. So as soon as you kill a couple, you can just eat some pork chops and you'll be fine. But once you hit one, as you see, it brings them all after you. So like I said, they're kind of like zombies, but they're a little bit harder. You just want to back up and try to take them out like that. But you see how they can get overwhelming? You see how they're all chasing me? So once you hit one, they all start going after you. And it can be overwhelming, but they drop food. So you'll be able to actually heal up with whatever they drop. But if you hit one and there's like 10 around you, 
they will all go after you and they will kill you instantly. So try to fight these guys like one at a time or maybe two at a time before they really mess you up. You gotta be careful because now they're all gonna go after me because I attacked one. You attack one, they seem to like all go after you. So just do the back up and punch method and you can use the food they drop to heal you if they hurt you and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now as for Ghastlies, that's the thing over there on the friggin' right, the big old ghost type things. These guys are a little bit harder, but for them they shoot balls at you and you can punch the balls back at them. Like I'll try to punch this one here. You can punch them like that back at them and it can hit them, but I think the best way to kill the Ghastlies are to, they're called gas, I call them Ghastlies like Pokemon, but the best ways to kill them are to actually just get close to them and let them land close to you and just take them out. I mean, they are pretty difficult and you can shoot the things back at them and it can hit them sometimes, but they move around so often that it might not. Just try to get under them and they'll eventually come down and when they come down, hit them with the, with the diamond. You saw that, how I hit them with the diamond when he came down? So really try to get them with your sword when they come down because it's pretty difficult to hit those guys with the, with the fire bolts they shoot at you. But I want to give you an example before we go. This is the last thing I'll show you of how these guys can really just mess you up with hordes. So I'm going to attack this one, which will make them all come after me. And now I have like five of them coming at me. They got me in a hole. I'm kind of panicking. I'm like, fuck, 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 trying to get out of here, trying to eat meat as fast as I can so they don't kill me. And they're right on my tail. As you see, if you're going to take on these pigmen, you're going to want to make sure to try to take them one at a time and not get them in the groups. Because when you get them in the groups, they will just wreck you and destroy every little cell in your body and just ruin you. So this has been a 12 minute, I wouldn't say tutorial, but I was just giving you guys some helpful tips on how to fight the monsters in this epic game that we love to play called Minecraft. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys. Watch your falls. As you see, that took a huge lot of damage. It's because I'm on easy. And uh, when you're on easy, normal, or hard, when you're on those levels, you don't regain your health. You just pretty much die. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and um, I hope this helped you. If it did, give you a thumbs up and thank you so much for the love and support. Hope this helped you guys out and I will talk to you later. And as always, ducks can fly, splash. Actually, ducks can die. <laughs> talk to you guys later. Peace.